Hello, my name is David, Andre, my wife is filming. This will be a tour, a video tour of the basement. We're at the top of the steps now looking out onto the deck. It's October, almost mid-October. Alright, coming downstairs is we call it our washer room area. This is uh, my son Ben's drum set. And I have storage hanging from the ceiling. It's basically I'm a bookseller and I have a lot of inventory. And if you see, I walk underneath one. I'm 5'10". You don't bump your head. All right. This side here is 26 feet long, 13 feet wide, and the ceilings are 8 foot 1. All the windows are double pane. Newly installed windows, back door is a steel door, and we have insulated the between the floor joists up above, and between all of that, it's very quiet and very, uh, you know, conditioned. Got a full size sink, two side sink here to go with the washer and dryer. Big windows makes you really feel like you're not in the basement. I mean, we like it down here. Kids play down here a lot, and we don't mind being down here too. All right, next we're going to go to the furnace room and uh, water heater room. It's my work area. First you see a deep freeze here, which was here when we moved here, and you can, you can too have it when we leave. It works just great. It's very efficient. Got an electric water heater, 50 gallons. We have two full bathrooms, and we all have never had a problem with people uh, running out of water. It's hot. To our right, if we paint back right, is a high efficiency gas furnace. It was installed the year that we moved here. That was seven years ago. And it has two cold air returns. The air conditioner is two years old. It's inside this unit. We have central heat and air. The condensing unit outside was also repa replaced at that time. So it's a brand new air conditioner and really almost new furnace. You have in this area, hold on. In this area, you have work workbench area. What I like about it a lot is there there are uh, GFCI outlets everywhere. So wherever you are in the basement, you can plug in. I did a lot of woodwork down here. The shop lights are nice because it's always well lighted. In the corner there, you see a uh, 200 amp service. When we had this house renovated, every bit of knob and tube wiring was replaced by modern up-to-code wiring. The mast outside is brand new, the service inside is new, new meter outside, everything brand new, electric. Now we're going to go underneath the front porch. It used to be a coal storage area. This house was built in 1920. They used to use coal, you know, coal furnace. Right up there is a coal sheet door, which I was a contractor and I used to put my ladders in and out. We also store things in here and it's really nice to be able to bring things in and out. And you can lock it. Obviously, it's got a lock on the bottom. This is also 26 feet long, 7 feet wide, 8 foot tall. And I have more storage up here for wood. Very sturdy. Great place to store bikes, sleds, ladders, anything. Wine. And wine. Yeah, my wife said you <laughs> can store cell. wine here. Next, we'll take you through to what I call the lawnmower room, which is Oddly enough, where we store lawnmowers. I already talked about the service. I'm just going to show you for a second. Okay. Uh, along with the wiring in this house is GFCI um, circuits for outside and bathrooms and kitchen, as well as down here. Got a whole house water filter here. You change it every three months. The water and flushing is great now because the county water sewer, li uh, sewer lines. The county water lines have been replaced, so we have great water. But I still like to filter it. I don't like to taste the chlorine. Not that you get chlorine taste. No. Lawnmower room. The riding mower is being repaired right now. But this room is 16 feet long by 7 feet wide. 8 feet tall. As you see, we're right below the um, studio bedroom, or the mother-in-law suite as we call it. And it's a conditioned space, so the floors are very well insulated. Alright. Next, we're going to go outside. 
the back door. Onto the porch. It's convenient here because we have a clothesline and in the summer and fall and spring we hang out clothes and get that nice outdoor fresh smell. And that's where we were inside the basement level of the house, which as you see, we'll see, we'll back up toward the zip line and we'll show you the side of the house to show you where we just came from. The lawnmower room right there, the door is right there. That's where we drive our mower in and out. The mother-in-law suite is uh, directly over, over top of that. And if you look along the side of the house, you see our car parked up on the concrete driveway. All of the downspouts, all of the drains for rain in this house are are channeled underground and they, they let out far away from the house so we have a very very good very dry uh, rainwater system. Incidentally underneath the back porch was a cistern back in the day they used to collect the rainwater but we've sealed it off so it's an interesting tidbit. One last thing is, uh, did we already talk about the, yeah we did okay. Well that's it. I know this was an inside tour that brought us outside but the next ones will be more uh, inside.